Who is the mysterious stranger? Where does he come from? Why does he help? The game says don't worry about it. I'm going to. I want to know who he really is, don't you? So, we're going to take a little dive into the deep end here and do a little investigating to find out exactly who the mysterious stranger really is. I'm going to warn you now, further on in the video, there are some spoilers for later in the game. So, if you're worried about ruining parts of the game for yourself, stop. Just come back later after you've done a lot more in the game and then check out the video. And before you go and bail out going, oh, I know who it is, I don't need to watch this, you might want to stick around. You could be surprised at what we believe the mysterious stranger on who he really is. So we're going to jump in here and take a look at a few scenes of the mysterious stranger actually showing up in-game and helping out. Now, when he actually shows up, pay close attention to him. Light brown trench coat, fedora hat, darker khakis than what the coat is. Only ever uses that same pistol. And it's a one-shot kill every time. I have never seen it fail to be a one-shot kill. The guy has an incredible accuracy and just is deadly with this pistol. Now, aside from his outfit, you really want to pay attention to him, the guy himself. Get in, you know, a tight area if you can while playing. When you get him to show up, that way you get a really close up view of the mysterious stranger. You'll notice that for the most part, yes, he does look human. But is he actually human? That's what I dug into to try to find out, because it just didn't seem right that he would be human. And there are a few people in the game that dress this way, but there's only one that we believe it really could be. So, we're going to start off in Sanctuary here, and from Sanctuary we're going to head southeast to a little town called Good Neighbor. When you first arrive in Good Neighbor, you should catch a heavy reference because you will be asked about insurance. If you don't really get this reference or don't understand it, it is a direct reference to an insurance company that I'm not going to name. However, once you're here, if you proceed on through, uh, the den of memories there will actually come into play later on in your game, but to the left of the den of memories is a hotel. And this, people, is where the spoilers kick in. So once you're inside the hotel, the guy that just walked it's off my, of my screen will be up at the uh, cash wrap area there talking to the person behind it. Go ahead and listen to their conversation, take the mission if you want to, then head upstairs. Up every flight of stairs. And then here at this doorway, that will have triggered an event. Somebody will walk out of this door and talk to you. If you have good enough persuasion skills and you choose the right dialogue, you can send this person to any of your settlements. Personally, I send them to Sanctuary because that's like my main one. I always go back to Sanctuary for everything for some reason. And of course, I made a mistake here. You cannot fast travel from inside of a building. So we're going to head on back out here and then fast travel up to Sanctuary and find out exactly who it is that we just ran into and had him go back to Sanctuary. What do you think of the place?
right, now that we're back in Sanctuary, let's take a look at our new friend sitting over here. Notice the outfit? Looks familiar, doesn't it? Dark khakis, light trench coat, you know and fedora. Since we talked, Hello, I'm Mr. vault Tech Rep. Look at the two of yes, this is sanctuary. the exact same vault Tech Rep Prepared from the very beginning of the, the game. Future. He has survived 200 plus years on his own. So, why is it that I believe that the vault Tech Rep really is the mysterious stranger? Well, in many ways it should be obvious. I mean, he has been there since the start. He came knocking on your door, greeted you, asked you the questions. 200 years passes, he's a ghoul. When you first talk to him as a ghoul, he tells you he only wants to help. You know, he, he's... He always wondered why vault treated him the way they did. They did not grant him entrance after he did all that work for them, and they didn't even give him his damn steak knives. So what do you do for 200 plus years living as a ghoul? No one accepts who you are, nobody wants to be around you. You find a way to help. You get a mask that makes you appear mostly human, and you go out and you help people in the world. That's exactly what our friend here has done. He found himself a mask and went out and started helping. And for some odd reason, it's you that he always helps. Now, the reason I believe this is because if you really pay attention to the Mysterious Stranger when he shows up, you will notice very strong resemblances. The trench coat, the khakis, the hat, they're all there. It's identical. For the most part, if you get him in a tight area to where you can really see him, the face appears mostly human but there are a few flaws in his face that makes it appear to where he might not be human. Look at his hands. Get a really good look at one or both of his hands. The skin is gone. This shows that he is not human and that he is in fact ghoul. And that is exactly why we believe, or I believe, that the Mysterious Stranger really is the vault Tech rep from the very beginning of the game. He has survived these 200 years by helping people. It, over the course of 200 years, how can you not, you know, just go out into the world and improve your abilities and your skills? Over the course of that 200 years, he has become deadly with that one weapon. And he chose to go out and help people of the Commonwealth because vault screwed him. So he is out to help everybody else. If you feel otherwise, please feel free to drop me a comment below the video. I'll take a look at every comment that I can and see if maybe there is somebody else that it could be. And while you're here, don't forget on this next screen to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and drop a thumbs up on the video if you liked it. And I'll see you next time.